Hey, good afternoon, boys and girls in second grade. For October the 1st, it's Thursday, we are ready for math lesson 10. So you need your sprint, you need your application page, okay? And I believe the problem set. You will also need your problem set, okay? So let's start with our fluency. Let's start with our fluency, okay? Today, on our fluency, on, okay? On lesson A, our sprint, we have our sprint, lesson A. Hey, in our sprints today, they have written the problems out in expanded form. So they have hundreds plus tens plus ones. And you're going to have to put them together to come up with that number. Well, a lot of them may start with that. Some of them may only have tens plus ones. Sometimes when you get towards the end of them, if you get that far, they may have reversed them. And they have ones, then tens, then hundreds. Uh-uh. We always start with the hundreds first, okay? So don't let it confuse you. Okay, pencils up. Ready? Go. Okay, here we go. Let's find out if you get this correct. Number one, 123. Number two, 124. Number three, 125. Number four, 128. Number five, 138. Number six, 148. Number seven, 178. Number eight, 519. Number nine, 518. Number 10, 517. Number 11, 513. Number 12, this one doesn't have any ones, okay? But it's 730. Number 13, this one doesn't have any tens, it's 703, 703, 703. Number 14, 33, there was no hundreds there. Number 15, 733. Number eight, or number 16, 940. Number 17, 904, 904, 904. Number 18, 44. Number 19, 944. Number 20, 870. Number 21, 807, 807. Number 22, 77. Number 23, 877. Number 24, 392. 25, 480. 26, 607. 607. 27, 264. 264. 28, 109. 109. 29, 580. 30, 580. That one's kind of backwards, but it's still five. You got to start with the hundreds. 31, 452. 32, 452. They just mixed them around. 
33, 873. 34, 849. 35, 729. 36, 305, 305. 37, 400 and or 500, ooh, they tricked us with that one. That 90 plus that 10 makes 100. So we have to add 100 to that 400 to make it 500. 38, 500, or oh, I did it again. That one is 600. You have to add the 80 and the 20 that makes 100. Add it to the 500 to make 600. 39 is 1,000. We had to add the 60 and the 40 to get 100, and 100 plus 90, or 100 plus 900 is 1,000. Number 40, 482, 41, 365, 42, 232, kind of tricky with that one, 43, 767. Got to add the 59 and the 8 together. And 44, 555. Okay, there's that one. You can practice the second B on your own sometime, okay? Go on and practice B on your own. We're going to move on. Okay, for today's application problem, this is what it says. Okay, this is what it says. It says, Jerry is a second grader, just like you. Okay, he was, he was playing in the attic and found an old dusty trunk. When he opened it, he found things that belonged to his grandfather. So he found like a treasure chest. There was a cool collection of old coins and bills in an album. One bill was worth $1,000. Wow. Jerry lay down and started daydreaming. He thought about how good it would feel to give as many people as he could a $10 bill. He thought about how he had felt on his birthday last year when he got a card from his uncle with a $10 bill inside. But even more, he thought about how lucky he felt one snowy, cold day walking to school when he found a $10 bill in the snow. Maybe he could quietly hide the $10, the $10 bills so that lots of people could feel as lucky as he did on that cold day. He thought to himself, I wonder how many $10 bills are equal to a $1,000 bill. I wonder how many people I could bring a lucky day to. So he found a $1,000 bill, a, some, a bill that's worth $1,000, okay? He wants to give that to as many people as he can in $10 increments, so he wants to take that $1,000, and he wants to know how many, how many $10 bills are in $1,000. So that's what it's asking us to do today. So he has $1,000, okay? And he wants to know how many tens. He wants to know how many tens. How many tens? Okay? And then he says, how many people could I give it to? How many people could have a lucky day? Okay, so we have two questions to answer. How many people? Okay? So, $1,000. How many tens? And then how many people can he give those tens to? So let's get started. We know if we, that we can draw $10 bills, right? So let's do this. Each one of these is going to be 10. So I'm going to draw, let's see, I mean, I can get across here. Four, 
five, six. I can get seven $10 bills across my paper, okay? So can you draw seven $10 bills? You draw seven $10 bills like I did, okay? And if I count that up, I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Mm. Well, I don't have a, I still need some more. So, this would give me 80, 90, 100. So now I have $100. Okay? Now I would have $100 there. Well, we learned the other day how many hundreds were in a thousand. We learned the other day how many hundreds was in a thousand. Because this all here, this total piece here that I drew is $100, okay? All that's 100. Now, how many hundreds are in that thousand? There's ten. Ten hundred. There. So ten. I don't know what this. Ten. Mm, wait a minute, guys. Let me do it this way. Ten one hundreds. Equal 1,000. Okay? 10 one hundreds equals 1,000. I would have to draw this 10 times. I would have to draw this 10 times to be able to get to 1,000. I don't have room to draw that that many times. You don't have room to draw that that many times. Okay? So we're going to have to think of a different way that we can do this. 10 pictures just like this would equal my 1,000, okay? That would equal my 1,000. So if there are 10 in 100, then I would know that, this is hard to explain, I would know that there are enough bills, enough $10 bills to make, to be a thousand, okay? Let me see how they did this here. Let me see what they did. Let's see how they did theirs before I go on. So, I would need 10 pictures like this, okay? 10 pictures like this. So, 10 $100 bill, or I'm sorry, not 10 100s. sitting in front of me so I can show you in real paper with play money. <laughs> it's kind of hard just to do it for you. Ten hundreds equals one thousand. So I could count out ten, 
tens, another ten tens, another ten tens, okay, till I got to a thousand. So I would have ten plus ten plus ten plus ten plus ten. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do that one. So 10 plus 10 is 20. 10 plus 10 is 20, right? Plus 10 more, and that would give me 40 plus 10. That would give me 50. Okay, that would be $500. That would be $500 right there. But I need a thousand dollars. So if I did this a second time, I could I would come up with the same thing, and then I would come up with fifty plus fifty would give me one hundred dollars. One hundred. So there are one hundred ten dollar bills in a thousand. Okay, it's a little hard to do. If I, if you guys were actually here, I could show you the money, and I could count it out, and I could make it into piles and show that to you. So this would be a pile of ten, a pile of ten, a pile of ten, a pile of ten, a pile of ten. Okay, ten tens in each pile. Those ten tens give me give me five hundred dollars. Okay, I'd have five hundred dollars if I added all those up. Then I would have, if I did that two times, that 500 plus that 500 would give me 1,000. So 100 bills would make a $1,000. This one's really kind of just bringing out what we kind of can see what we can understand out of it. I know it's confusing. If you're confused, I'm sorry. Let's just kind of move on to the next one, okay? Because this one is just a little confusing. It's easier when you're in person and I can show it to you. Maybe I can show it to you more on Monday. All right. Don't worry about that. Okay. To go on in our book, though, they are showing us a different way that we could do this. Okay? So think of it a different way. We, If you get your problem set out, there's a different way that we're, we're going to do the same problem, but I'm going to show you in a different way. Okay? So, get your problem set page out, and it's the same story. We have $1,000. How many $10 bills are there? So, this time, they're saying, well, let's put our $1,000 in the middle. Okay, maybe this time, this will make sense. I'm just showing you a different way. Okay? And then, kind of like a bicycle, we're going to make... Ten of these come off of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I have ten, ten circles that come off of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? Well, in each, each of these circles, I can put 100 because there are ten hundreds in a thousand. We talked about that the other day. Ten hundreds make a thousand. Okay, so I have ten hundreds that equals to that thousand. All right, well, off of this then, we know that there are ten, uh, there are ten tens that make a hundred, right? Ten tens make a hundred. So if we counted that out, we could say 
we could count this as, let's see where they start on theirs. It's hard to see in the dark. One ten. So we could go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 would go all the way around. But 10, but 10 hundreds equals that thousand. And then we know that there are 10 tens that equal 100. So if we wanted to, we could bring this out here and we could put 10 of these little things around it, okay? Because there are 10 tens equals that 100, okay? So we could have to draw all these and we could draw 10 of them all the way around just to show how many are in there. And we kind of learned that last week. We kind of learned that last week. So let me get rid of this. You just keep watching, and we're going to elaborate on that part, okay? So, this time, if I put my 100, then I can make 10 of these. There's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, in each one of these, I can put 10. Right? Because I know that 10 tens make 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10 tens makes 100. Okay? So, it's just different ways to show what we already learned the other day. So my answer for my problem would be 10 tens or 100 people. 100 people would find a $10 bill. Okay? 100 people would find a $10 bill. We're just working it down backwards. Okay? We're working it down backwards. It's just one of those lessons that they are trying to show you the relationship between tens and hundreds and how many are in a hundred, how many tens are in a hundred, how many hundreds are in a thousand. Okay? I promise you that there is not one of these on your test that's coming up. I'm not here to confuse you. Um, this actually confuses me. So if you're confused, just join me. <laughs> um, but this was just a way to show you how you can break down those, that thousand to ten, to hundreds and a hundred into tens. Okay? It's just one of those types of lessons. Okay, so um, there is an exit ticket. And the exit ticket is basically the same problem that we just did. Okay? You do not even have to try the exit ticket. We did it two ways here. Why do it a third way, okay? So, we are finished for our math lesson for today. Sorry if it was a little confusing. I'm just trying to get it. So, it's hard when you're not here for me to show you something like this so I can give you the money. And we would have all had our own play money and we would have counted it all out with our own play money. Maybe we can try that on Monday. But, yeah, I think you got the gist of what we were doing. So, Make sure that you get on and you do your, um, your studies weekly tonight also. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.